Now students, you have to write the word meanings in your copy. How you are going to start? You have to write the name of the lesson on the first line with proper date. The pattern of the date will be 3rd April 2020. Then in the next line, you will write word meanings. Go. After writing the word meaning, you will write the question answers. Moving on to exercise A, question number 1. How do parrots and parakeets learn to talk? Go. Oh, and the answer is, parrots and parakeets learn to talk when someone repeats the words or phrases many times in front of book. Second question, where did Aunt Ruby get the parrot from? Go. Yes, Aunt Ruby brought the bird from the bird catcher who visited all the houses on their road. Question number three. Why did Aunt Ruby stop liking the parrot? Aunt Ruby stopped liking the parrot because it would not repeat the words she said. Go. Fourth question. How did Aunt Ruby treat the parrot? Go. Aunt Ruby treated the parrot very unkindly and say it useless. Question number five, how did the parrot escape? And the answer is, one day after feeding the parrot, the speaker left the cage door open by mistake and the parrot escaped. And the last question, what made Aunt Ruby turn ruby red? And the answer is, Aunt Ruby turned ruby red when the parrot repeated her unkind words back to her. Now we will move on to exercise B, which is match the following. Number one, grandmother and grandfather did not want to keep birds that were in a cage. Second, the parrot knocked off the spectacles that were on Aunt Ruby's nose. Third, the parrot was quite happy when I fed it green chilies and ripe tomatoes. Fourth, I was sure that we would never see the parrot again. Number fifth, Aunt Ruby was upset when the parrot said the unkind words back to her. Now students, you have to write the answers in the same way as I have written on the board. Now exercise C, think and answer. Question number one, why do you think grandmother and grandfather did not want to buy the parrot? Can you tell? Yes, you're correct. Grandmother and grandfather did not want to buy the parrot because they did not want to keep the birds in cage. Second question, what made the speaker think that they would never see the parrot again? The speaker thought that they would never see the parrot again because the parrot has escaped from Aunt Ruby's unkind words. Third, do you think that the parrot liked the speaker? What made you think so? Yes, the parrot liked the speaker because after escaping also, he came back to visit the author. Now moving on to page number 5, grammar section. Possessive adjectives. Possessive adjectives are the words which we use before noun to show that something belongs to someone. Exercise A. Underline the possessive adjectives in these sentences. Number 1 has been done for you. Modern day school is our school. The answer is our. Second question. Asha and Harry are my cousins. Whose cousin? My cousin. So the answer is my. Underline my. Number third. We went on a trip to their house in Mumbai. The answer is there. Underline there. Number fourth. 
Open your notebook, said our teacher. Your and our. Underline your and our. Question number fifth. Lata has lost her keys. The answer is her. Underline the word her. Number six. Ravi is talking to his friend. To whom he is talking? His friend. The answer is his. Underline the word his. Number seven. The bird is in its nest. Where is the bird? In its nest. So underline the word its. Page number six, exercise B. Choose the correct words from the box to complete these sentences. First one has been done for you. Kuntal and Prachi are doing their homework. Second, Dash teacher did not come to school today. My teacher. The answer is my. Third, Richie borrowed the book from Dash classmate, her classmate. Because Ruchi is a feminine gender. Kunal said collecting coin is one of dash hobbies. Kunal again masculine gender that is we will add his. Write the word his. Number fifth Rakesh has lost dash lunch box. His lunch box. Now read these sentences. The parrot belonged to Aunt Ruby. The parrot was hers. Mine, yours, his, hers, ours, its and theirs are possessive pronouns. We use these words in places of noun to show that something belongs to someone. For example, this book is mine, the city is ours. So here in exercise C, page number 6, we have to tick the correct answers. To complete this sentences. Number one has been done for you. The red scooter belongs to Rohit. It is his. Second, these books are ours. We got them from the bookshop. The answer is ours. Pick ours. Number third, I have completed my work but Shushma is yet to complete hers. The answer is hers. Tick the answer, hers. Fourth, Mr. Sharma's car has a radio and so does ours. Tick the answer, ours. Fifth, Ritu and Rhea cried when the parrot flew away because it was not theirs anymore. Tick the answer, theirs. Last, Jesse's desk looked tighter than mine. Tick the answer, mine. Now come to page number 7, vocabulary. Look at these words and its meaning. Bird catcher. A person who catches and sells birds to earn money. When two different words can be brought together to form one single word. These are called compound words. For example, butter plus fly is equal to butter fly. Now here, Make come out compound words from these phrases. Number one has been done for you. A box to carry lunch in. The answer is a lunch box. Second, a cloth that is laid on a table. A tablecloth. Third, a boat that is driven by steam. A steamboat. Fourth, a horse that is trained to run in races. A race horse. Number fifth, a person whose job it is to sell things, a salesperson or a salesman. Sixth, a person who tells story, a storyteller. I repeat the answer. Number second, a tablecloth. Number third, a steamboat. Number fourth, a racehorse. Number fifth, a salesperson. Number six, a storyteller. Now moving on to the next Exercise that is punctuation. Read these sentences. Sometimes these birds would learn to talk. One day he pushed my aunt's spectacles off her nose. The commas show a short pause and separates a word or a group of words from the rest of the sentences. 
here are some more uses of commas when we use commas a comma separates the words like yes oh well thank you no and so on from the rest of the sentences for example yes please come in here we are putting comma after yes second a comma is used to separate words or phrases in list of things usually we do not put a comma before and i went to the market to buy apples comma oranges comma mangoes and pineapples so after and we are not going to put comma page number 8 exercise punctuation put comma in the correct places in these sentences number 1 it has a hot humid and unpleasant day so we'll put comma after hot second one day anita rakesh lalita and poonam went to watch a film together so after one day after anita one day comma anita comma rakesh comma after lalita no comma number 3 no lata did not reach school on time so after no comma number 4 what is the name of that small black fish after small number 5 oh i did not know you were coming today so after o oh, put a comma number 6 Sadaf ate an egg, comma, an apple, and two pieces of toast for breakfast. So here we are putting comma after an egg. Page number seven. 